Hello everyone, I am Divya, your Math Facilitator and today we are going to discuss exercise 1.4 of class 9. So the earlier exercises, exercise 1.2, 1.1, I have discussed in the earlier videos and also the concept of this chapter I explained very clearly in the earlier videos. If you have missed watching it, then I would like to pin it up here in the i button. Just click on the i button and watch those concepts so that you will have a clear understanding about this chapter. So let's proceed. First question is simplify the following. So you an, an expression is given to you, you have to simplify it further and bring a final value. So how are we going to do this? We will be basically using identities in this question. Okay. For example, here you can see you have it is like A plus B into C plus D. Okay. You have something like A plus B into C plus D. So how will you do this? So it's nothing but just see here A plus B b into c plus d suppose if you have suppose if you have something like this just understand this concept right suppose if you have a into c plus d simple distributive property you used to multiply a to c and also a to d isn't it so you used to write a c plus c d you used to multiply a to c and also a to d now the same distributive property we are going to use okay so firstly you are going to multiply a to this whole c plus d okay so let me write it here so we are going to multiply a with the entire c plus d and again you are going to multiply b with the entire c plus d you have a plus in between so write plus with the b you are going to multiply entire c plus d so finally again here you can see you can apply the first step a c plus a d a c plus a d plus here you can write it as b c plus b d. did you all get this point the same thing we are going to do it here okay so here as you can see the first step this step i'll i'm going to write it here so with this phi i'm going to multiply with phi i'm going to multiply 2 plus root 5 okay and also you, you have a plus in between right plus and with this 7 i'm going to multiply root 7 i'm going to multiply 2 plus root 5 right so now again with 5 i'll multiply 2 so 5 2 is a 10 and again with 5, I will multiply root 5. So, I have a plus in between and 5 into root 5 is 5 root 5. You have a plus in between right plus with 7, I am going to multiply 2. So, 2 root 7 with root 7, I am going to multiply 2. So, I will have 2 root 7 and also with this root 7, we are going, going to multiply root 5. So, we will have root 7 into root 5. But you all know what is root A into root B. You have learned it in your class site exponents chapter law of exponent root of a into b isn't it you have learned it in your class right root of a into b right so here you can say i can write this as 10 plus 5 root 5 plus 2 root 7 plus root of a into b is nothing but 7 into 5 this you have learned it in your square root chapter i'm so sorry so 10 plus 5 root 5 plus 2 root 7 Plus, this is 7, 5 is a root 35. So, this is your final answer. Clear? So, simply we have used this logic and one simple formula. Let's move on to the next question. 5 root 5 into 5 minus root 5. 5 plus root 5 into 5 minus root 5. So, if this is like A plus B, okay, where A is nothing but 5 and B is nothing but root 5. It is like A plus B into A minus B. So, what is the identity you all know? a plus b into a minus b is nothing but a square minus b square isn't it it is nothing but a square minus b square so shall i apply here so i can write this as a square here a is nothing but 5 isn't it so a square is nothing but 5 square minus b square b is root 5 so b square is root 5 whole square see here a a plus b into a minus b i have it like 5 plus root 5 into 5 minus root 5. So, I should write it as a square minus b square. But a is what? a is 5. So, 5 square minus b is root 5. So, root 5 square. Okay. So, directly you can use this formula, this identity. So, 5 square is 25 minus root 5 square. Square and square root gets cancelled. So, you have 5 here. Okay. So, 25 minus 5 is 20. So, this is the answer. So, you can use this identity. If you don't want to use this identity also, you can do this problem using the previous method. Previous method, what, what did we do? We multiplied 5 with this entire 5 minus root 5. And again, I multiplied plus root 5 with the entire 5 minus root 5. You can do this one also. Okay, this is method 1. 
if you don't want to use this method you can go for method 2 also okay so here also 5 is a 25 minus 5 root 5 you'll have plus 5 root 5 and 5 into 5 root 5 into root 5 is nothing but 5 and now root 5 into root 5 is root 5 see here root 5 into root 5 is nothing but root 5 whole square all can I write as 5 but I have a plus into minus so I it is nothing but minus 5 now plus root 5 minus root 5 cancels so now 25 minus 5 is 20 so instead of this confusion and all so hey, lengthy calculation you can happily use this identity right next question root 3 plus root 7 whole square now this is also one identity what identity is this you can directly see it is like a plus b whole square okay where a is nothing but root 3 b is root 7 okay so what is a plus b whole square formula it is a square plus b square plus 2ab isn't it a i told you it is root 3 so a square is nothing but root 3 whole square plus what is b square b is root 7 so root 7 whole square plus 2 times what is a a is root 3 b is root 7 okay simply i am substituting in this see my question is in this form a plus b whole square and i am trying to write it in this form a square plus b square plus 2a b using the identity okay this you will write in the brackets since this is the reason you will mention now root 3 whole square square and square root cancels you have 3 square and square root cancels you have 7 plus now this is like root a into root b just now i told you root a into root b you have learned in your class 8 square root chapter so it is root over a into b isn't it so this i can write as 2 into root over 3 into 7 or that is nothing but 3 plus 7 3 plus 7 is 10 i can write it directly actually so it is root over 3 7 is 21 okay so let me write it 3 plus 7 is 10 plus 2 root 21 is the final answer further you cannot simplify it let's move on to the next question 11 minus root 7 into 11 plus root 7 now again you can see 11 minus root 7 11 plus root 7 so it is like a minus b into a plus b can you tell me the a value here a value a is nothing but root 11 b is nothing but root 7 okay so can i apply this formula a minus b into a plus b is nothing but a square minus b square can i so let us apply the formula again so a is root 11 so root 11 whole square minus b is root 7 so root 7 whole square okay root 11 whole square square and square root cancel so i have 11 here minus square and square root cancel so i have 7 11 minus 7 is how much better 4 got the answer so simple isn't it simple formula see all these formulas are whatever you have learned in your lower classes only it's just that you are you are again doing it okay it's a revision for you right Achha. so let us move on to the second question but before that i have a very special announcement for you you might have played many video games you you might you might have enjoyed your summer vacation with lot of games but did you ever play the real game did, did you ever experience the battle test so an academy is here to give you the battle test okay so in this battle test you can have complete experience of live leaderboard you'll have a leaderboard okay students from all india level will be participating in this combat so you will have a live leaderboard you will have a live ranking which you can see and the most important part is it's a free test completely free absolutely free all you need to do is you have to enroll for the test and before that let me tell you the benefits of the test so giving this combat firstly the questions are curated by an academy's top educator so you will have a very good questions in the combat exam okay and second point is instantly you can check where you stand amongst your peers so you can share this information with all your classmates in all your school groups class groups everywhere so that you can invite all your friends to compete with you and let us see kiss me kitna hai dam okay and you'll have your live leaderboard live ranking okay and a detailed video solution after every contest you will have a analysis class wherein you can see what are the mistakes you have done and you can learn those concepts again top educators will be taking the analysis class and you will have scholarships for top rankers amazing isn't it bonus point and this 
test is applicable for classes 6 to 12 okay so all the students who are studying in classes 6 to 12 you can apply for the test and you can win a scholarship worth one crore okay so and the test is live on your mobile app you can give the test classes 9 to 10 your timings are 11 am classes 6 7 8 timings are 12 pm and classes 11 and 12 timings are 1 pm so all you need to do is share it with your juniors and share it with your seniors and ask everyone to attempt this test and enter the battlefield okay so it's a gamified test you will also enjoy and learn a lot right and moreover it's a complete free test so definitely enroll and get the experience and you can also win scholarships so all you need to do is enroll for the test the test date is 4th july okay test date is 4th july so you will have to enroll for the test right now so how will you enroll i will give you a link in the description box okay in the description box just below this video under the title you will find the link okay if you click on the title you will find the description box so you will find the link in the description box click on the link you, you will you, you will be directed to the test site so you will have to click on the enroll button and you will have to use the code gd10 this code gd10 will help you to unlock the test for free okay just enter the code gd10 also share it with all your juniors and seniors as i told you and all your classmates as well don't forget right and don't forget to give the test on july 4th right so and this gd10 is applicable for all the scholarships all the free free content and also uh, if you if you want to get a 10 percent uh, discount on the subscriptions also you can use this for gd10 okay it is valid for everything right Chalo then don't forget to give the test do share it right link is in the dis description box and code is gd10 so let us move on to the second question classify the following numbers as rational or irrational what are rational numbers rational numbers can be expressed in the form of p by q irrational numbers cannot be expressed in the form of p by q this is a basic difference right so here you can see you have 5 is a rational number minus root 3 is a irrational number always remember beta rational plus irrational or rational minus irrational if you add or subtract a rational number and irrational number your final output will be a irrational number only okay so if you have a rational number and irrational number addition or subtraction final output is irrational so it is a irrational number if you want you can substitute the value and check now here you see two irrational numbers if you are adding two irrational numbers also if you are adding or subtracting two irrational numbers okay two irrational numbers i am adding or subtracting the final output is again a irrational number okay so root 3 plus root 2 irrational plus irrational is again a irrational number okay the, this this little trick you can remember rational plus or minus irrational is irrational irrational plus or minus irrational is again irrational now just see this question root 2 minus 2 whole square it is like a minus b whole square isn't it it is not, nothing but a square minus b plus b square minus 2ab the identity so here a square is nothing but root 2 whole square minus b square sorry plus b square is 2 square 2 square can you write it as 4 minus 2 times a is root 2 into b okay so here you can see it is square and square root cancel so i have 4 plus 4 minus 2 2 is 4 4 root 2 okay so 4 plus 4 is 8 minus 4 root 2 so finally again here also you got a rational number 8 is a rational minus 4 root 2 is a irrational number rational minus irrational so final answer will be what beta it is again a irrational number clear next question 2 root 7 upon 7 root 7 okay here you can see root 7 root 7 is common we can cancel it off so final answer is 2 by 7 2 by 7 is of the form p by q so can i say it is a rational number yes it is a rational number okay so i can say this is a rational number let me write it clearly so this is a rational number now 2 pi we all know that pi is a irrational number pi is irrational number the value of pi is 3.14 and so on it will it is non-terminating non-repeating so it is a irrational number this so we all know and you you might have also got a doubt ma'am pi we are writing it as 22 by 7 but 22 by 7 is in the form of p by q so pi is rational 
बट नो बेटा दिस ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन इज समिंग विच वी आर टेकिंग फॉर अ कैलकुलेशन पर्पज एक्चुअल वैल्यू ऑफ पाई इज थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर फाइव एंड सो ऑन इट विल गो इट इज नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग नॉन रिपीटिंग वेन एवर यू हैव नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग नॉन रिपीटिंग इट इज कॉल इेशनल नंबर ओके सो दिस इज ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन इज फॉर अवर कैलकुलेशन पर्पज फॉर अवर कन्वीनियंस वी आर टेकिंग बट एक्चुअल वैल्यू ऑफ पाई इज Not a twenty-two by seven. This is the actual value. So pi is irrational number. Now irrational number into a rational number. If you do also, suppose root three is irrational. Root three into two. If I do also, I'll have two root three. Now here one example. You got four root two. So root two is a irrational number into four. So four root two is also irrational number. So remember, whenever you have irrational number into a rational number, also you will get a irrational number. Okay. So here the answer is. Irrational number. Pi is irrational. Two into pi is also irrational. Next question one by root three. So rational divided by irrational. See one is irrational divided by you have irrational number. This is also a irrational number. Okay. So one by root three is also irrational number. So the proof of this you will learn in your tenth class, right? Next question two plus root two two minus root two. So here you can see this is like a plus b. Into a minus b, can I write it as a square minus b square? So here a value is two, b value is root two. So can I write as two square minus root two whole square? Two square is four minus root two whole square is nothing but two, isn't it? So four minus two gives me two. So here you can see that two plus root two into two minus root two is giving me two. Two is a rational number okay so always it is better to simplify whenever you have something complex like this you you will have to simplify and then decide whether it is a rational or irrational so tell me how did you like the session if you really like the session do hit that like button and also comment and let me know so that i can do more and more videos for my lovely students of class 9 and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet okay do comment and let me know and do share this channel with all your friends Till then, I'll see you all in my next class. Depending on your comments, I'll take up the next topic. Okay, bye bye. Take care. Have a great day.